Welcome to Big H's Workshops, where I'm going to show you one of our current projects. As you can see, he's got lots and lots of bits and pieces to get on with. The project I'm going to show you is a replica of a 223 German armoured car. What I want to try and show you is the detail that has gone into the building of this which is down to H's fanatical detailing. As you can see, the visors are all in place with latches so that they can be put down into the combat position. Mountings for an MG34 or an MG42, if you wish to emulate late war. One detail I particularly love is the no-tech light with the protection bars in place. Absolutely fantastic. You see the revolving turret? I'll show you that a bit later. All the storage boxes, all with the right clips, all in the correct position. Crew door with locking latches. Rear access panels, which are lockable so that they can be used for storage. Rear access panel, this can actually be pushed down and underneath it is the grill, all beautifully done. This is yet another important detail. The air intake, which would have been for the original engine, is actually underneath the armoured cover. So on display, this can be shown. This is a big H. <laughs> currently doing a tank. As I said, this is being built to be road legal. The major advantage of this is cost. It quite often costs about £300 to transport something like this to an event. With this, you just drive there with a big grin on your face. This is the turret of the 223, which is one of its beautiful features as it has a proper military turret ring which means it revolves just like the original but when it's going along the road as you can see it has locking levers lock that down in position the turret will not move good safety feature here are some shots of the interior which isn't quite finished but as you can see the clips there ready for an MP40 it has the gas mask holder, grenade racks, and first aid box. Just showing how far H is going to try and get this to be an accurate replica within the constraints of it being a Land Rover. But finished on the inside, unlike all the other 200 series. This table is for the mounting of a radio and the clips are for the spare barrels for the MG34 main armament. This is the view up into the turret showing the MG34 mounted and again you can see the locking latches which you just move down, locks the turret. Now you can see us a close up of the antenna, which can be put into the retracted position or as it is at the moment in the transmission position. This is the commander's view. This is the vision the driver gets through the front slot in the fully open position. Not bad, actually. We've still got to just finish the inside a bit, but you can see we put a full console in for the instruments. So you will have the speedo, fuel gauge, etc. working. 
works in high and low range and standard Land Rover handbrake but in reversed position. This shows the crew door that again has a mounting position as on the original vehicle for the mounting for the case. shovel. The front position is for some jerry cans which will be put on later. It has been kept in the German sand colour so that another scheme can be applied at a later date. These are the working to. headlights. The rear lights and front lights will be made detachable so that at events they can be removed. These are the front fender markers. They will have white balls put on the top as per the original. This is the sort of view you really would not want to have seen. An MG34 pointing at you. This is the mounting point for the spare wheel. Uh, we haven't actually bothered putting it on yet. That's we Here are the rear dummy exhausts. Obviously it will have a functioning exhaust but these are just dummies going into the dummy engine uh, compartment. Through the rear hatch. And as you can see we've got in effect a dummy engine in the rear position. Actually this is the fuel tank. The fuel is put in via a fuel cap on the top. Just like the well I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm sure you can see Big H has surpassed himself on this project. Thank you for watching.